Hey, hello guys, welcome to my channel. This is Salesforce Wala. In this in this video, today we are going to learn about how we can call the custom component and custom fields uh, in GraphQL L W G. So just before starting the video, I have one request, guys. If you have not seen my first video, the basics about the GraphQL, so I am requesting you please see that video and then you will come back so that you will understand better in this video. Okay. So now in this video you can see here some code okay so this code what we are doing we are calling a history object that is a custom object and what we are doing this is a query that will show us that we are calling the first 10 rows of the history object okay and with the history object what fields we are calling you can see it here this is the id field name field and a underscore name underscore underscore this this is a custom field and this is also a custom field okay so what exactly we are doing it here we have just written one uh, graphql query and with that query we are just trying to pull out the custom object with the custom fields as well okay so now let's do one thing i have created this code this is the basic code that i have created it right now what we can do uh you can see it here i am just putting the console.log here so that we can see it in the console as well okay so now let's do one thing let's go to the salesforce and we can see in the console how we are getting the data okay <coughs> sorry let me just refresh the page and then we can see whether we are getting the data or not if we are getting the data then we are good if we are not then we have to check it why we are not getting the data okay so uh, if you'll we'll see here i am just getting the same amount of data some amount of data if you'll we'll see here let me just increase the size of it and then we can see it okay here you can see upi query uh, U, ui api query and a history object this is the custom object which we have just put right now just before this okay and from this we are what we are doing here you can see i'm just getting the id name as well as their value and the simple name of it okay and the account value as well so right now uh like in some of the cases you will see the account value is null yeah because the value is not available there okay so that is why it is showing null so in this query as well like we, we can see that whenever the value is not available we will get the null value okay so this is how we can pull the custom object and custom fields without using the apex in graphql using graphql basically graphql is a powerful language that helps us to just directly query the data and pull out the data into the lwc and like with this you cannot hit the governor limit as well so this is the right thing that you can do it right now here yeah so in the next video i will tell you about the relationship how we can do the relationship into the custom and the standard components okay so thank you thank you guys thank you for watching this video like please like share and subscribe my channel to get the latest video about the salesforce thank you